Hello. Through this video, we'll talk about the circulatory system, its part and functions. Let's start. The circulatory system is formed by the heart, blood, and blood vessels. Heart. The heart is the pump that sends blood around the body. It's the size of your fist, not of your hand. It is almost at the center of your chest. Blood is a connective tissue that contains cells, fluids, and other substances. It is a transport system because it transports hormones, nutrients, oxygen to maintain homeostasis. It gives supplies to cells and it removes wastes. Blood vessels. They are tubes through which blood is transported. We have arteries, capillaries, and veins. Let's talk about each blood vessel. Arteries. They take blood away from the heart. Arteries have thick walls to carry blood in high pressure and very fast. The main artery and blood vessel in your body is the aorta, capillaries. They are the thinnest and smallest blood vessels. And now we have the veins. Veins have thin walls to carry blood slower than the arteries around your body and it takes it in low pressure. Veins take blood into the heart. Now we're going to talk about the components of our blood. Blood contains the following components, plasma, white blood cells, red blood cells, and platelets. Let's analyze each one. Plasma, it is the liquid part of the blood. It is a mixture of water, minerals, nutrients, and proteins. Plasma carries wastes, red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Red blood cells, they are disc-shaped and have no nucleus. They have hemoglobin, which is a protein that carries oxygen to our cells. White blood cells. White blood cells have an irregular shape. They help us fight pathogens like bacteria and viruses. They form antibodies, which are chemicals that identify pathogens. White blood cells destroy dead or damaged cells. Platelets. They are fragments of cells. When there is a cut, they clump together in the affected area to close the wound, forming blood clots to prevent the blood loss. See you next time.